Hello everybody, welcome to Short Shot Archery, and today I got a package in the mail. So let's go and open this up and see what I bought from Lancaster, because I, I actually don't remember. As I murder the poor box. Alright, and... Aha! Yes! I'm very excited about this. I picked up the uh, ooh, Curve RXF from uh, Excel, Drupal Excel. And uh, this is the one that Chef uh, endorses and uses at his World Cup events, so I'm going to be uh, trying it out. It was actually a recommendation from my coach, uh, Sung Wu, he uh, runs SW Archery, really awesome guy. If you're in the uh, northern New Jersey, New York uh, City area, but uh, now let's uh, let's take a look at this. I'm really excited to put this on my bow and see how it works. So let's pop it open and see what's going on. All right, got our instructions and stuff. Comes with a lot of things. Very cool. A lot of different uh, attachments you can put on to change how you see, you know, through the aperture and how the target's presented. Of course, you know, the main thing is the fiber optics, which is all uh, legal by World Archery standards and stuff, so you don't have to worry about that. So that's a nice bonus. All your little accessories for changing things. I don't know, maybe I'll play with around with them. I'll probably just leave it as as is unless I feel like I need to change it. Um, I was recommended this because uh, the sight pin I'm using is the Shibuya one, the original. Uh, I didn't change anything to it. It works great, but my coach has been playing around with this and he really likes how much easier it is to aim with this uh, sight pin and you know just, just how it works. So I'm willing to try it out and see if it is beneficial to my shooting or not. I don't know. So far, you know, just, just from opening the box and stuff, it seems like it's uh, fairly well made, nice and strong. The uh, fiber optic is really bright compared to the just the little dot that's on uh, the Shibuya pin. So we'll see if that's a big improvement or not for me. I have been shooting that Shibuya pin now for... I don't know, like six plus years, probably more like eight years. Uh, so we'll see. And uh, let's go head downstairs and put this on the bow. I'm excited to uh, test it out. So I got my shooting gear, I got the new sight pin, uh, the bow's already out at the shooting shack, so we just gotta install this and then we can start shooting some arrows. This is gonna be awesome, can't wait to try this out. And we made it to the shooting shack, time to install the curve. So, I probably should measure the distance to see if I can get this at least close on the first go. Of course, I'll probably shoot my first couple shots at blank bail just to get an idea, or a close distance to get an idea on where we're at, and then we'll just we'll jump right into 70. Okay, so we're about 40 centimeters from the middle. So, we're going to try to do the same thing with the curve. We'll see how it goes. Real quick though, before I uh, reinstall everything, uh, just so that you guys can see the difference on you know what I'm gonna see, the change. So 
we got the old and the new here. Uh, I think I think there's gonna be a, a, a good difference. Maybe it's not super noticeable uh, right away. And another note, we are inside technically. I'm gonna be shooting out a window. So this is gonna you know have a bigger advantage uh, outdoors with the light and all, especially with the rheostat that uh, I think I'm saying that right that you can uh, so that you can dim or brighten the uh, fiber optics on this. So you can't do that with with the Shibuya one. So I will see how that goes too. But uh, let's get this on the bow. Okay, so we're getting there. Let's see where we are at uh, distance-wise, because I do want to be close. Oh, we could actually go in a good bit more, it looks like. Okay, so it looks like now I am pretty much lined up with the same measurements as my old sight. So I just took it from where the beginning of the sight block was, and then just measured to the center of the pin on the old one got my 40 centimeters and I just did the same thing with uh, this site so it should be pretty spot on maybe a little bit of right and left movement but nothing that I'm gonna be overly concerned about like I'm going to hit the target so now let's get back to the most fun part of this and that is shooting some arrows with this and see how it goes The dot is smaller. Now, I got the point, I think it's the .29. There's one smaller than that. I'll double check if I'm wrong. But uh, the dot is definitely smaller. I guess the fiber optic is smaller than the red dot on the Shibuya, which is a little different. But the aperture itself is a lot more open than the aperture on the Shibuya. So at 70, it looks like, yeah. It looks like I'm going to be able to see the two and three ring, so second white, first black rings. Um, it looks like the aperture is going to block the rest of it, and that sight pin is going to be pretty small. It's pretty much just going to cover up the, the ten ring down there, maybe a little bit smaller than that. So that should be fun when we switch to 70 after a few more arrows here at a, you know about blank bail. Maybe a little. It's a little bit further than blank bail. So uh, let's see how that goes. All right, so I've shot a few down there. It's going pretty good. Very interesting with this being so dark in here and the sun being almost on the target down there. It's got some shade because of the roof I have on the target, but it's very bright outside and it's not super bright in here. Like I have sun coming from this, this window I have here, but it's all, it's very indirect, it's pretty much just bouncing off of it, so there's no real direct sunlight in here. So, looking through this aperture from a dark area out to somewhere that's very bright, uh, it's very interesting because it's so bright out there. So, I have the rheostat completely open right now, and the fiber optic is actually not bright enough to overpower the light out there. So obviously this is a really tough situation for this uh, this sight pin, and by no means is it this like like the official say all be all thing. So, uh, but but this is what I'm experiencing like right now in the moment. Um, I'm really interested when it gets a little warmer out. I'll try to move outdoors and I'll shoot outside at the 70 meter target outside. And I bet you this is really going to perform perform phenomenally right now when I get back and I'm, I'm on the gold, I actually don't see any red. The whole pin itself is just black, so I just put you know the black dot on the center. But it's pretty much a similar situation to the Shibuya, but instead of seeing only a tiny little bit of the target, I'm seeing a lot more target, and I have this very thin sight pin to put on, put on the, uh, the center of the target. So that is a bit of a change, but it is nice. So, uh, you know, do take that with just, you know, a little, a little grain of salt because I am putting it at 
a very big disadvantage from shooting because I'm shooting in the dark here and it's so bright out there. There's not a there's not many clouds in the sky and they're not that thick either. But it is going pretty good. Man, like, my shooting has been getting a lot better. I've been working really hard. Uh, but this sight pin is, it's, it's pretty nice. Even though I, I was kind of complaining a little bit with how I can see it in the, in the dark here. But, I don't know, I think it's going to be pretty sweet outdoors. But, uh, you know, we must shoot further to find out. All right, so we made it down to the target. Uh, we got the one out here. I don't know if that was the first shot or not. But uh, yeah, you know, I, I made it work after that. I got a lot more used to that new, you know, sight picture. Uh, took an arrow. This is, this is the literal first end I've ever shot at 70 meters with that sight. So uh, let's shoot another one and uh, see how it goes. And this is a perfect segue into our unofficial commercial. That's not a commercial because this is brought to you by Sure Shot Archery. Yours truly, Anthony. And the new Sure Shot Archery adjustable stringer. Pick one up at sureshotarchery.org. Link in the description. And now back to shooting more arrows because, I don't know, the bills aren't, still aren't paid. Anyway, back to the archery because that's where the fun is had. Huh, huh, not a bad end. I think the first six were a 58, so looking pretty sweet. All right, welcome back. Day number two now, and it's warmer today, so we are outside. Moved the target back, so now we're shooting 70 meters outdoors. Got the bow here with the chef curve on it, and uh, we're going to go shoot some arrows at Outdoor 70 and see how it goes. Now, today, as you can probably see on me, um, we got a bit, a bit of patchy light here. Uh, definitely not the direct shade and indirect sunlight here. We're still getting some direct sunlight, but it is getting broken up a little bit by the trees. So it is a different lighting situation than the shooting shack. Uh, down range at the target. It's pretty uh, shady down there, but of course the target is outside. So it'll be nice to see how the fiber optics, you know, uh, shows up when I put it on the target face and I'll do my best to share it with you guys so you get an idea on what I'm actually looking at. All right, so we just shot our first end. Uh, we got the first arrow here. And then this was the rest of the group. Uh, pretty nice sight picture the whole time. And uh, so far, pretty good result. We'll definitely shoot some more and uh, see how it goes. And of course, we're going to be shooting this for a long time in the future to see, you know, continued you know, results and performance and things like that. But so far, looking pretty good. Welcome to day three. So uh, today it's nice and warm in the morning and I got the sun in my face. So 
Uh, the bonus to this is it'll be a great test for uh, the sight pin because I got the sun on me, but my target is still in the shade because of how it's positioned uh, right on the tree line. So I'm really interested to see how the sight pin, you know, is it going to, you know, stick out from the darkness of the target downrange and just, you know, how all that's going to, uh, to work. So let's give it a go and shoot some arrows. One thing I really like about uh, this sight pin with you know, the, the sun angle and stuff I got now with the sun in the front in my face and the, the target down there, dark, uh, this sight pin with the fiber optic, it just, it just sticks out so nicely on uh, that target face and I can see it really easy. Uh, that's something I wasn't getting before because everything with the other sight pin was kind of the same shade since it had no fiber optics. So, so far I am, I am liking this sight pin. I can't wait to shoot it for more than just like these first three days that I've shown you here. But uh, so far I'm impressed and I, I, think, it's, I think it's been a, a good value. I don't know if, if the more expensive one's really any better. Figured if Chef's using this one, it's gotta be definitely good enough for me because he, he still definitely outshoots me. <laughs> Maybe I can give him some competition now with his own sight. Uh, pin, but uh, we'll see. Okay, so here is our result of shooting into the sun with the sight pin. Pretty good. Only I would say like you know two strays from the, you know, the full group. Uh, you know that eight and that seven there. But overall, I, I'm really liking uh, you know how it's letting me aim through some of these really tough uh, lighting conditions. And you know of course. Do I shoot every single end this great? No, but I am really happy with, with how it's going with this site for switching it out so quick and then getting really solid results with it uh, pretty much right away. Besides a little sight adjustments, you know, just to get into the center of the target. Uh, this, this aperture has been right on point and it's definitely letting me see the target better than my old Shibuya one. So I definitely look forward to testing out more and doing a full review sometime in the future as I really get, you know, many hours and many thousands of arrows behind this sight pin. So uh, stay tuned for more videos. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this one and found it interesting. This is a hands-on test straight out of the box. And I'll catch you guys next time and happy shooting.